There are a lot of stories about domesticated animals saving human beings from danger. And I guess most of these would relate to pet dogs, who are indeed man's most loyal and trusted companion. But when it comes to wild animals, what we usually hear about is the perennial man-animal conflict caused largely by man's constant encroachment into the animal territory. We have rarely come across cases where the wild animals have come to the aid of a human being in danger. Let's look at five such rare cases today. This indeed must count as one of the most astounding stories, with lions, one of the wildest and deadliest of predators, guarding a small 12-year-old girl from kidnappers. The girl was snatched by four men in southwest Ethiopia on her way back from school in June of 2005. A week later, the men were continuing to elude the police when they were encountered by a pride of three lions and were chased away. What is shocking is the fact that instead of killing her, the lion stayed with the girl without causing her any harm, and departed when the police came searching for her. Sergeant Wanmu Wendaj said that they effectively stood guard for her until the police found her, and left her like a gift, and went back into the forest. This incident shocked many experts as lion attacks on humans and farm animals was, in fact, on the increase in the region. A wildlife expert speculated that the lions must have spared the girl because her crying must have sounded like the mewing sound of a lion cub. 69-year-old Robert Biggs was busy watching a family of black bears, which included a cute, cuddly newborn in Northern California in March 2012. He was obviously keeping a safe distance to ensure that the bears did not feel threatened. He had no idea that he was being stalked by a ferocious mountain lion. As he turned to leave, the cat pounced on him from behind and knocked him to the ground. Robert fought back and used a stone to hit the big cat, but it didn't let go. As he was engaging in this losing battle with the mountain lion, he got help from an unexpected quarter. In his own words, a blur on my left side grabbed the lion by its throat, and it was the mama bear. The bear ripped the cat's grip on his back, and the two titans clashed for about 15 seconds. Obviously, the huge bear outweighed the big cat four to one, and the latter made a quick retreat. The bear went back on all fours and went back to its family without harming Robert, who left with a few scratches and bruises on his arm. Surfer Todd Endress had gone surfing with his friends in August 2007 off Monterey, California, when disaster struck. Out of nowhere, a large 12 to 15 foot long great white shark came along and hit Endress when he was sitting on his surfboard, but failed to get its jaws around the surfer. The second attempt was more successful, and it clamped his torso, which was sandwiched between the board and the shark's mouth. That attack shredded his back and peeled his skin, but because his stomach was pressed to the surfboard, his intestines and internal organs were protected. Then the shark tried to swallow his right leg as he kept kicking the beast on its head. A pod of bottlenose dolphins then showed up and formed a protective ring around Endris. This frustrated the shark's attempt to complete its kill and allowed Endris to get back to shore where his friends quickly provided first aid and saved his life. No one knows why dolphins protect humans, but stories of the marine mammals rescuing humans date back to ancient Greece. Eight-year-old British tourist Amber Owen was on holiday in Thailand on Boxing Day 2004 when the killer tsunami struck, killing scores of people in Thailand and other parts of Asia. Amber was in fact taking an elephant ride on the beach when this extraordinary tale of heroic courage and the wonder of animal instinct unfolded. In the morning, Amber could sense that the elephant named Ning Nong was anxious and kept turning away from the sea. The tide suddenly receded and some locals ran to pick up the fish scattered on the beach as the waves went out. 
The elephant knew something was wrong and ran as fast as he could inland, ignoring the mahout's attempts to get him back towards the sea. As he edged inland, a huge wave rushed up to his shoulders. Clinging to the elephant's back, Amber watched in horror as flailing fellow holidaymakers disappeared under the massive wave. The sturdy elephant managed to climb up the beach against the force of water and stood firm protecting the small girl as everything around him fell like nine pins. The chances of surviving a deliberate plunge from San Francisco's Golden Gate Bridge are close to none, but perhaps those odds could increase dramatically if a helpful sea lion would show up. This is what happened when 19-year-old Kevin Hines, who suffered from bipolar disorder and depression, decided to jump in September 2000. Miraculously, he survived the equivalent of a 25-story plunge but the force of the impact on the water broke his back and shattered his vertebra. The overwhelming pain rendered him unable to tread water. But before he started to sink, something brushed his legs. He thought it was a shark that had come to finish his task and started regretting his suicide attempt. Luckily for him, it was a sea lion that was circling him, nudging him and keeping him above water. It did not stop nudging him and didn't go away till the Coast Guard arrived. Authorities were able to get to him and pull him out of the water, but he surely would have drowned due to his injuries had he not been kept afloat by the valiant sea lion. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, then please press the like button and subscribe to the channel. You can see the bell icon below. Please click on it to receive notifications of my future videos. I will see you soon, and thanks for watching.